So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll tell you about Dragon's Horde by Mortison Games. A game where each player is taking on the role of a dragon trying to build up their horde. And they do this using these bright and colourful sheep because that's what they eat. So the way the game works is you start with a hand of four cards and on your turn you get to draw cards from the market or the top of the deck. You draw two cards without looking at them as you draw a card from the market it gets replaced from the deck. And once you've drawn your two cards, you then get to look at them. You can then play a special action card, which tend to be quite take that, skip turn, discard cards, things such as that. Once you've done this, you can then play a treasure card. And then it goes to the next player. And that's the game. You play till someone has 10 treasures in front of them, and then you total score whoever has the most wins. Now, the thing that adds to this and makes it slightly more strategic is the costs of the cards. So the costs are going to be related to the type colour of cards. So if you've got a blue card, you're probably going to be needing to collect more blue cards in order to play it. The more points it's worth, the more cards you need to collect to play it. So there's an element of drafting these cards or taking them from the market in order to stop someone else getting them because you know them need them and drawing them because you need them. And all the cards always have wild costs. So you'll take the one you know someone else wants to use as your wild, for example. Another thing that adds to it is there are these things called layers that create a set collection aspect of the game. The more you have of the same color, the more bonus points you get. And that can make a really big difference in the end game scoring. So, what do I think of this game? Well, component-wise, the cards are perfectly fine. Artwork-wise, it is fantastic. I absolutely adore the artwork in this. The dragons look amazing. These fire-breathing, huge creatures. The sheep are bright, vibrant, colourful, cute, smiley faces. The fact that each colour of card has a different design of sheep as well as colour I think is really nice and speaking of that from a colour blindness thing the cards don't just rely on colour they also have symbols so each colour of card has a different connected symbol so you can tell looking at the symbol what you're collecting without relying on the colour I think this is a lovely simple game that it's very portable, very accessible. It's very easy to teach non-gamers. It scales well for the two to four player count. And yeah, it's just charming, light play. There's a fair amount in luck if you're desperately needing a car and it's just not coming out, or you're just not getting the high point treasures someone else is, or someone just keeps getting skip cards and you're not getting anything to defend yourself. It can be very luck heavy in that regard but it's a quick light game that you kind of can just accept that luck as part of it and it just kind of feeds into the charm of these mighty dragons the cute artwork yeah dragon's horde i think is a lovely game and i'd highly recommend anyone to get it to add as a small box addition to a collection it's just lovely to take on holiday it has a small footprint that you can play most places Absolutely love it. Dragon's Horde by Mortison Games. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as sharing and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.